gut, not your MBA. Now, the reason why this struck me is myself and a partner, we were, uh, we were at a conference. We were asked to give some coaching to this guy. We didn't know anything about this guy. So this guy told us about his business and blah, blah, blah. So we spent about an hour, you know, going through his business on the fine tooth comb, telling him what was going wrong, what he should do, the opportunities, all this kind of stuff. And he turned around and he said, you know what? He said, I'm completely blown away by everything you guys have just said because nothing that you've said to me just now did I learn in my MBA. And we, we were surprised, we were really surprised. So I did some more research into that and it's, it's a bit of a common theme. And the, the suggestion is that, and I'm sure that places like the London School of Economics and London Met and people who champion MBAs, I know that they're looking at this a bit, a bit more closely now, but traditionally, MBAs do not set you up to run a business. They set you up to run in a business. You're a master of business administration, you're not a master entrepreneur, and there's a stark difference. So traditionally, because entrepreneurship wasn't a viable option to employment and employability as it is today, the requirements in an MBA, it didn't have to have those elements within it, necessarily. Whereas today, it does. I have a colleague of mine, run a company together, and he went to the London School of Economics, maybe about 10 years ago, and he said to me, Julian, you know, we're having a discussion, we're going through your ups and downs as you do in, in the startup business. And he said, one thing they didn't teach me when I was doing my MBA is to follow your gut. And he said that the most critical decisions that he's made that have led him to, to growing the business was, and they came from his guts. They didn't come from a book that he opened and looked for the answer. It came from a gut feeling that he had. That said, the gut feeling is normally grounded by something. Your gut feeling normally has a foundation of uh, either experience or knowledge or something that you've learned. So it's not just completely off the cuff, but it is extremely valuable.